Greetings, everyone. Bill Nye here. Let's discuss science slang. Uh, arsehole, I think, is uh, <laughs> there's a compound of arsenic where it forms a, uh, a ring. And so, isn't that charming? DI is deionized water. Very important in the laboratory. And right now they're selling raw water. Don't drink it. Uh, Jedi, that's an instrument on the, uh, I think on the Juno spacecraft. Jupiter Energetic Particle Detector Instrument. Jedi, see, that's like a science fiction reference used in science, you with me, huh? Cooler, well, what's, what's cooler than cooler? There's a thing that it fascinates all of us called absolute zero. And this would be the temperature at which there is no molecular motion whatever. Everything has come to a stop. And so what you do is you get the molecules, the atom, out there in a vacuum, and then you give it a boop, boop, with a laser beam, except it's in a vacuum. There's no sound. And you get the atom or molecule to stand still, and then you try to infer the temperature that is absolute zero. Hinny is the product of a horse and a donkey mating. Next, the null set. The null set is the set of objects with nothing in it. It's nothing. It sucks. Quench. So you can do that with thirst, but quench is an old material science expression. You may have heard of tempered steel or tempered glass. You get it to a certain temperature where the molecules have a certain arrangement. Then you cool it very quickly. You quench it. And the molecules lock into that position. You've been around a sword. You've used an axe to split firewood. Sure you have. Or you've been in a car made of metal things. We quench that material to get at the right material properties. The champagne tap is where they do a spinal tap and they do it just, just right, just really well. Brute force. I've been involved in brute force analysis. It's where you don't have a shortcut, so you just run, use crunch numbers. You just crunch them. But brute force is no problem when you got huge computers. Spherical cow. Okay, this is a joke. In physics, it's so easy to analyze everything in terms of a sphere, where everything is equidistant from a single point. So uh, let's say, it, for the purpose of this joke, the farmer goes to the physicist and says, I want to improve the milk output of my cows. So the physicist goes away for a year, and he comes back and he says, Mr. Farmer or Ms. Farmer, first, we assume that a cow is a sphere. And then all the physics students laugh because it's so funny. <laughs> Carry on, you guys. It's good to see you. We had fun with science slang.